Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me doing week three of the uh, August Lico Day Challenge, uh, or weekly challenge, obviously. Hit the like button, subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, we have the 1166 Design Fire System. Okay, we're asked to design a fire system th that allows me, I mean, I haven't done it before, so it's very exciting, you know? Uh, always exciting to do a poem I haven't done yet. All right. Fire system, create new paths, associate them with new, different values. The format of a path is duh, 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 okay. Uh, but a path's uh, empty string and a root directory is actually not for some reason. Okay, implement the file system, create path, return force if it already exists, or a path, duh, 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 get string, okay. Um, Get the value, okay, what does the value mean? Oh. Because you can put a path in a value. All right. I mean, I think this is a very canonical try problem, right? Um, honestly, very often when, uh, uh, I don't know, it's on lead code. Uh, when you do these kind of things, it's just a try. Um, and the reason is just because you can look at each directory as a, um, as a, as a leaf, I suppose, to a, a different node. I mean, sometimes you could say that it's on the node. Sometimes it's on the, on the leaf. Oh, sorry, on the edge. Did I say leaf or edge? Uh, I mean, yeah, on the edge. I, 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 depending on the problem, it you know depends on the problem which one you you sometimes prefer. But in any case, yeah, for this one it is a very straightforward try looking problem, a prefix tree if you will, if you're on Google stuff like that. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, I think that's really honestly. Uh, I think sometimes these kind of problems, the only time you don't have a try. And maybe I'm wrong, but sometimes, uh, I mean, some I remember one with a suffix tree or something like that. But anyway, the only time it's not a try or that you cannot use a try is when 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 the problem is hacky and you can do it with strings and a big hash table or something. But but so I don't know. So uh, yeah, uh, let, let's call this a try. Uh, so maybe uh, I do something like root dot uh, sub dot root is equal to uh, node. We have to define node, right? Uh, and a node would have uh, a value, perhaps. Uh, let's call it none. And then we have um, directories, maybe? You call it directories, because I guess that's the case in this particular problem. Uh, and then we'll have a lookup table, so a, a hash table, right? Uh, and then, yeah. This is it. I guess so, for the, for the initialization. All right, for create path, um, yeah. This is basically first we parse it, right? So we split it. Do we only get valid paths or we have to parse it? I mean, I know that they show examples. Sometimes some problems, and that's why I look, is that some problems when they say these are valid and these are not, sometimes it means you have to validate them. And sometimes it just means that, okay, your inputs will be valid. So that's why. Okay, so each path is valid. Um, so that's good. So then we just split it on, um, what should we call it, left slash? I always forget which one's backslash, which one's forward slash. But yeah, so then now maybe for, um, you say Eve as an edge. Um, actually, I want to print this real quick because I always forget whether it has like, like if there's a, oh, there's no trailing things, huh? No, no, there, oh. Are there no trailing uh, right, thing, right slashes or whatever? Yeah, I guess not, because it is always going to be this followed by English characters. So, okay. But I still want to know just because, I don't know. I always f f don't know how they handle um, stuff. All right. So. Oh, whoops. Why, why did I do this? Oh, auto, whatever thing. All right, yeah. So here we have, huh. Oh, because it's only one of those. Okay. Yeah, so you could see that, for example, that's why I want to see it, because just in case I'm wrong, is that you can see that uh, the there's nothing before the first slash, so that's why there's an empty string. Um, but I feel like, I mean, for me, I probably should know better about it, but I also, there, there's like, um, split is one of those functions that are in like basically every language, but not every language handles certain weirdness the same way, so I don't remember it most of the time. 
Um, so we can even just say something like this, right? So then for current, and because everything is otherwise is valid or well formed, if you will, uh, or this is in current, this is like D for edge. We start current, you go to self that root, right? So then here, um, yeah, uh, or its parent path doesn't exist. Okay, that's actually uh, annoying, but not that bad. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah. So basically, if y is in code, or if it's not rather uh, in directories, I almost wrote dictionaries, which I guess is technically true. So if this is not in it, we want to create it, but we don't always want to create it. That's, that's why I'm like, it's a little bit awkward for sure. Like you want to write something like this or something, right? Or actually, well, I, I wrote it wrong, but you would write something like current.directories of D is equal to new node, right? And this would be how you would do it, but then if its parent path doesn't exist, we actually should break except for the last one. So maybe we just do something. Uh, uh, let's just actually put put this here, right? Uh, and then we, we skip the last node. Um, and then everything before that, if it doesn't exist, then we just re return force, right? Um, and then now if it goes all the way through, that means that now we have to go create one more thing. So then if paths, the last thing, if it is uh, in current directories, then this time you return false because it already exists. Otherwise, uh, current directories dot um, or add kind of um, is equal to node. Uh, yeah, this is a way of let's try uh, last. Then, uh, yeah, current dot directory is of last dot value is equal to value, and then that's it. We can return true, right? And then now get is the same idea. Uh, so we have current is equal to self dot root, right? Uh, paths is equal to path dot split. Do, 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 do. We skip the first element, and then for ye in paths, do, 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 do. oh, how did I? Apparently, I don't know Python. I think like I just did it stuff. I don't know. But yeah, if ye is not in current dot directories, then we just return negative one. Uh, otherwise, we keep traversing. Actually, I, I kind of copy and paste, did I? Or maybe at least mentally in my head. Uh, also, this is a typo. But uh, this should not have, uh, like, this should have the entire path. And then at the very end, we can return current dot value. Um, should be mostly good unless there's something weird. Which I guess is always happening. So we'll see, YOLO submit. Okay, because I'm ready to take a nap. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, that's all I have for this one. This is a really straightforward try problem. Uh, I mean, maybe not straightforward in terms of difficulty if you, have, if you haven't heard of it yet, or have, haven't worked it out yet. But honestly, if you know try, then this should be a problem that you really need to know um, because it's very standard. Uh, I don't think there's anything too crazy in terms of algorithms. So yeah, uh, gonna go take a nap. So thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, do your mental health. I will see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.